Reunited with her capsule, the first woman in space, cosmonaut Valentina Tereshkova. Vostok 6 is now a museum piece, but when Tereshkova took off in 1963, this journey could quite easily have been a one-way trip. I asked her if she was ever scared. It was work, she tells me. If you were afraid, you would never be allowed into space. This capsule is like a close friend, only made from space technology. Tereshkova returned a hero of the Soviet Union and remains to this day the only woman to fly a solo mission into space. Several years earlier, the Soviets kick-started the space age with a series of pioneering firsts. The first satellite, Sputnik 1, and then the first man in space, Yuri Gagarin. And in 1965, Alexei Leonov carried out the first spacewalk, together with the first space somersault. Many of these artifacts have never left Russia. Some needed to be declassified before they could travel. The Soviet Union's early achievements were seen as a challenge by the US, who eventually beat Moscow in putting a man on the moon. It may be a legacy of Cold War tensions that often here in the West, these major achievements are sometimes eclipsed by NASA's later moon landings. But when it comes to the space race, there's one clear winner, the Soviet Union. The Russians landed the first uh, probe on the moon. They also landed on Venus, the first probe to land on another planet. If you think about it calmly, those are incredible scientific achievements. They're just as important as the lunar Lunar lander. The lunar lander is very sexy and has all the PR, but all these other things are just as important scientifically. With the space race long over, tensions have been replaced by cooperation and joint missions. After the US grounded its shuttle fleet in 2011, it now pays Russia $63 million per astronaut per trip. This collection charts man's early cosmic achievements from the spacecraft to the space toilet. Meaningful moments in humanity's journey into the unknown. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera at London's Science Museum.